So we've got 5 big updates for the Galaxy S26 Ultra. Some of these are totally new and could finally challenge Apple's dominance. Others are upgrades over the S25 Ultra. Let's dive in. First up, the S Pen. Yeah, it's still here, but this time Samsung's actually redesigning it. Leaked images show a curvier body with a metallic top that matches the new flowing design of the Ultra. Honestly, it's giving Note 2 vibes. The last time Samsung went with this kind of design. And it makes sense, because the Ultra itself is finally going curvier this year. But here's the catch. Still no Bluetooth. Samsung stripped those features with the S25 Ultra. And so far, there's zero evidence they're coming back. So yeah, it's prettier on the outside, but in reality, still just a pen for scribbling and doodling. Now on to performance. Qualcomm just announced the Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 5, and this chip is a monster. We're talking 4.6 GHz clock speeds, 20% faster CPU single core, 17% better multi core, 23% faster GPU, and a 37% bump for the NPU. And on top of that, it's sipping 16% less power compared to last year's chip. For years, Apple flexed about being two generations ahead. But here's the twist. The A19 Pro in the iPhone 17 series just got smoked. The Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 5 beats it in almost every category. Sure, Apple's still slightly ahead in single core, but Samsung has a trick. The Galaxy exclusive version of the chip. That one's rumored to hit 4.74 GHz and could break the 4000 mark in single core. That's huge! And this isn't just about benchmarks. The S26 Ultra is finally stepping into iPhone territory for creators. Apple always had the edge with ProRes video, but now Snapdragon's introducing APV, a new codec that's basically Samsung's answer. It records near lossless video, saves space, supports LUTs, and even log footage. In simpler words, pro-grade video tools, right in your pocket. For creators, that's game-changing. And Samsung isn't stopping there. One UI 8.5 launching with the S26 series will bring five built-in LUT styles. That means you can apply different effects and colors to your log footage straight from the phone. Honestly, that's a big win, especially since the camera hardware itself isn't seeing huge changes this year. Yes, the camera bump is almost twice as big as the S25 Ultra. But what are we really getting? A wider aperture for the wide and 5 times telephoto sensor. Meanwhile, Xiaomi's 17 Pro Max. Same chunky bump, but with a bigger sensor, wider aperture, and a much stronger 5 times telephoto. Even Ice Universe roasted Samsung saying they're sacrificing specs for style. And honestly, he's right. But the biggest upgrade this year isn't the pen or even the chip. It's the display. Samsung's finally using its new M14 OLED panel on the S26 Ultra. And thanks to the iQ15 leaks, we already know what this means. The panel is brighter, uses a polarizer-free design, and cuts down on wasted light. That means 44% less power wasted for the same brightness. And on the iQ15, that translated into almost 50% more screen on time. Considering the S26 Ultra isn't getting a battery size bump, this could be a game changer for battery life. And then there's Flex Magic Pixel. This feature basically makes your screen private. If someone's sitting next to you, they won't be able to peek at what's on your display. According to One UI 8.5 code leaks, you'll be able to pick which apps use it, and even set a schedule. Two privacy levels too. Maximum protection dims the screen so only you can see it. Samsung even teased this in an early demo. And honestly, this one feature alone could make the S26 Ultra untouchable in display tech. Finally, charging. Early leaks said Samsung would finally jump to 60 watt wired charging, but recent certifications still show 45 watts. Then Ice Universe came out again, saying he's certain about 60 watts this time. If that's true, we're looking at 75 to 80% charge in just 30 minutes. Honestly, Samsung needs to hit at least 60 watts this time. They haven't touched charging speeds in years, and with Xiaomi, OnePlus, and Oppo already flexing 100 plus watts, sticking to 45 watt now would just be embarrassing. So yeah, those are the big 5 updates for the Galaxy S26 Ultra. However, here is everything we should expect in S26 Ultra's design. This is Tectix, and I will see you there.